Well hey, this is Serena from Serena Moments. Hope you've been having a good day guys, wherever you are in the world. I am going to be showing you guys the last part of my trip to Hong Kong during China's New Year. I am going to be going to Macau for today's trip. Go sightseeing, all the historical sites and everything. Fight through the crowds, there's always going to be some crowd fighting during Chinese New Year. <clears throat> well, regardless, I'm looking forward to it anyway. This is the next part of me in Macau. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, Serena from Swing Moment here. This is now my sixth day here in Hong Kong, though I'm not in Hong Kong anymore. I'm on a ferry heading to Macau. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, but it's pretty busy because it's Chinese New Year. I've had to upgrade because otherwise we'll have to wait ages for the seats. It's making the trip more comfortable, so I'm not really complaining. It's this sort of European heritage mixed in with Chinese culture. A lot of the architecture around here is very European. But then you see in juxtaposition with that, you have Chinese decorations, Chinese lanterns, you've got the red and the gold everywhere. So it's interesting, like fusion of East and West really, do you think? This is probably Macau's most iconic landmark. So where I'm standing now is what would have been the inside of the church before it got destroyed by the fires. You used to be able to go to the second level of the ruins, but I assume that because there's too many people, they want to protect what's remaining. So they're not really letting people go up there. But you used to be able to though. I have now reached the Museum of Macau. It's situated in what used to be a fort, if I presume correctly. It seems to be like a nature reserve now, lots of greenery around. So it's nice to just come over here, relax a bit, take a breather, get out of the city for a bit. up here and we are currently on what is known as Bishop's Hill. This was a residence built to house the bishop and it's built on top of a hill overlooking the city and the sea. It has its strong roots from when the Portuguese occupied it. So you can see the architecture bears marks on regionalism and stuff. So behind me right now I've got this really beautiful chapel and do you know what it's kind of reminding me of? I'm sort of having an Assassin's Creed moment right now. You know you just want to climb up that chapel, you know scale the walls and everything and then get to the top, do your eagle vision thing, take a leap of faith right there and then into a haystack, as you do. You guys want to guess where I am at the moment? I'm currently in one of Macau's flashiest casinos. 
casinos, the Venetian. The interior itself, never mind the casino, it's absolutely incredibly beautiful. The ceiling is just made up of these classical biblical scenes. I think it's slightly ironic to place those kinds of images in a casino of all places, but you know, whatever. In case you haven't noticed, Macau is one of the top, top destinations for gambling as well. And I hear that Macau is now even bigger than Vegas as a gambling destination, which is pretty incredible, you know. The casinos here, you have to be 21 and over to be able to enter them. So I'm not legally able to enter the casino. Well, not that I'm really interested in going to gamble anyway, you know. But just so you know, if you want to come to Macau to gamble, you've got to be over 21 to do so. Mate, like all the gold and stuff they got going on here. This place just reeks of wealth and luxury. I don't think I could even drink a cup of tea here, let alone stay the night or play in the casino. It just looks incredibly, incredibly luxurious and upper class. Guys, I think I now know why this hotel is called the Venetian. I'm standing in a shopping arcade, but the interior is designed so that it feels like you're in Venice. So it's just a pathways on the sides where there's shops, tall rise buildings. And in the middle, they've even got a makeshift canal running through the shopping arcade. You can ride a legit gondola and come on a ride through the canal. If you want to be that really fancy person who goes on a gondola and rides through the hotel in the middle of a building, <laughs> Last part of my Hong Kong trip during Chinese New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys managed to get a feel for what Hong Kong is like during Chinese New Year. Unfortunately, me being in Hong Kong means that I was not able to see what Taiwan is like during Chinese New Year. But hopefully, you never know, in the future, next year, maybe the year after that, I don't know, there'll be another opportunity to come back to Taiwan and see what Chinese New Year is like. Thanks for watching these vlogs. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you have fun with me. I certainly have fun. So I'll be seeing you guys around in the next vlog. This is Serena from Sweet Moments signing off. Bye.